what? What about the possibility makes you feel that way? I don't know. Just a feeling. The music. Is this a play on of like Amelie or something? Oh. Hey, don't push. I got dibs on the violin. It's so light and care, light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute if it's my backpack. <laughs> Just walks out with the giant cello. <laughs> All right, there's got to be other memories around here, huh? Excuse me. Apologize. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. All right, so we found where to go for memories. We need three. We got some shadows here. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? It looks like just floating case from behind. <laughs> There's trees in this school? That's awesome. Huh, I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Okay, that's... What I was just thinking, and also I said that wrong. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. His memories are all sorts of jacked. Why is there a gong on the play... The playground? Oh, look, is that supposed to be a tire swing? Because it totally looks like a gong. I'm trying to click on the kids! Wow. This is an aw This is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. <laughs> Ah, well, that's a nice compliment under Gauss's law for magnetism. Let's leave him alone. Oh, wait. He already is. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many things to click on. Ah! There's too many things to click on. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, it's a kid. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, when they're blanked out like this, it's uh, obviously no one important for him to remember. Or to remember. Okay, I need another memory. Where is it? Maybe it's this basket. No. Oh, wait. I needed three to get in that door, so. Boom. Miss Parker. Colin. Colin! Uh, the answer is C. Oh, wait. Uh, the, the answer is C. What? I'll ask you again. What's the radius of this circle? The answer is C. Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. He's thinking about not wanting to play the cello. That's where his head's at. Hmm. I 
think I saw something on the wall back there. The wall? That? Oh, there's a shiny. Hmm. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we can reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? <laughs> Wait, you didn't disable it. Molab. I'm assuming that's a Harry Potter reference. Mobilarbus, uh, teacher's discus. And down. He's just fucking with her. <laughs> Did you kids just flip and see that? Uh, uh, impressive on her uh, not cursing up a storm in front of kids for that. Dude. Reset. <laughs> Just panic the crap out of that lady. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. Why? That's hilarious. And second of all, that's not even how the spell goes. I love her. Of course she would know. Uh, yeah it is. Did you see that thing fly? <laughs> they sure did. You village, Ili vid village idiot. Uh, this is so great. Mine. Hey, stop it. Why you gotta lick the couch? You've got giant wet spots on the couch. Hmm, what? Nothing, I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how, do you not, or do you know how drain is to unleash a Kamehameha and Hadouken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Help. That's awesome. I, oh, that would have been great if it actually responded. I wonder if I could have actually left after moving the desk. I didn't think about that. Boom. What? Look how much I cleared. And it only gave me half. Man. Man. Boom. is a memento. Why would the clock be a memento? That's very interesting. Okay, we're back at his house. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well... And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? 
I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. All right, Rosaline, you explain it to us. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories, it was just... In his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted... All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that, and once again, leaped back. To the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they form any just any pattern. It's a pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling toward a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our first gentleman? Or our fine gentleman? I don't know. Maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and they've never been a memory that's done this. All right. I guess at least this one isn't routine, then. Hmm. We'll see. One bedroom, one ba with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. Uh, I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Nice, dude. Freaking sales pitch. Here, have a brochure. Thanks. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that they, it hasn't had even one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burnt down, being an apartment at all. Uh, I mean, uh, of course it won't happen, because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, uh, fire safety is important. Gonna be locked? Yep. I wonder if that's gonna be significant, that door always being locked. An attic in an apartment! Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it'd probably hit pretty close. Dude, this guy's awful. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. How's the stream going? Uh, pretty good. We're about to end here. How's your night going, my man? Hey, there's a clock. That looks... I guess it's a video game asset. So maybe it's just a similar asset. I don't know if it's significant or not. That bookshelf is here. That's interesting. A brochure for the apartment. Let's check this out real quick. And as you can see, this is why they call the Lakeside Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but if you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't though, you'll fall off. 
Okay, on we go. Dude, this guy. Guess I'll have to sort out the bot mods another night then. Told you, man. It's hard coded. Even in the documentation, you can't change it. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. There's still a memory. Also, careful with those stairs, but y'all seem to have rocket hips, so no problem there. Stairs? What stairs? I have no idea. Yeah, that would be a very simple variable. There goes an hour. <laughs> Sorry, dude. There's a there's a couple things in Streamlabs chatbot. I was like, that should be a simple just a configuration. Why isn't that allowed? I don't know. Maybe it could be abused or something, but Technically, anyone that you could set a mod privilege to could be abused if, like, a mod decides to go a like haywire or whatever. So I don't, I don't understand. On the other hand, it's kind of suspicious that they carved out this single storage addict. Uh, I'm missing a memory. Where could it be? Oh. There's a bel there's a balcony you or there's a balcony you said. Yep, it's got a great view and given how high it is, you can certainly fall in. I mean, yes, yeah, balcony. It has that. It's got to be in here. No. Why would the other Oh, wait, maybe it's on the outside of the apartment. Yeah, don't know. Nope, I can't leave. Crap, dude. Um, Where's the last memory? Look, I'm sorry, just really new at this. Okay, now I kind of feel bad for him. Yeah, they might be using uh, stream elements though. And uh, that one I believe is configurable. I don't know where the last memory would be. Do you guys see anything? I see nothing. And I'm like clicking on anything. And nothing is showing up. I can't leave. I can't go in that door. This is getting frustrating. This is the only part about the games I don't like is this hunt and s hide and seek item thing. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if I could, like, speed up time or make them run. But that would kill the pacing of the game. Uh, Where is it? And he said something about stairs. I don't know why we mentioned stairs. Right here. That makes no sense to me. It tells me, like, there's something different here. Stupid stairs. What are you talking about? Stairs.